can be quite lonely being the president, even at the G20 summit, where he's surrounded by many other world leaders, 19 to be exact. A large group of them, led by the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, were spotted heading to dinner together last night. Missing in the group, the American president, President Obama. He later headed to the formal dinner alone. Oh, he does look lonely, doesn't he? Political science uh, <laughs> professor Jason Johnson joins me now. Welcome back, Jason. Back, glad to be here. So the president, what's he to do? He doesn't have the support in Congress right now. Far, far from it. A lot of people are saying, hey, President Obama, you need to address the American people and lay out a plan. He has no plan that people want to hear. And that, that's the problem. Look, degrading the weapons of mass destruction, degrading the, the gas, you know, the ability for Assad to gas people, nobody wants to hear that. Americans are thinking about Iraq, uh, even though this is a situation much more similar to Kosovo. And that's not a case that Obama's going to be able to make effectively. So there's nothing he could say to the American people, so you think he shouldn't bother? I, I don't think it's going to matter, because no matter what Congress ends up passing, I think the president's going to go ahead with this anyway. I mean, Bill Clinton did the same thing with Kosovo. I think that even, as long as one House of Congress votes in his favor, and that'll probably be the Senate because the Democrats have the majority, Barack Obama will begin the bombing. He doesn't want to yeah, look weak. But a weak. lot of liberal Democrats are against going, taking military they action in Syria. They all say that now. They all say that they now. They say that really strongly They now. say it strongly. They're going to do some horse trading because I think eventually the concern is going to be what this does to Iran. If, if, we, if, if the president draws a line and then ends up being cut off at the knees by his own Senate, then Iran is going to be laughing and Assad is going to be laughing. And that is something that even people who disagree with Obama, they'll probably vote in favor of because they're concerned about how America will look overall. Okay, so, so you saw our story yeah. on the town hall meeting yes. in Arizona and you saw how angry people were at John McCain. Mm -hmm. But you also listened to the congressman from Indiana, the Republican congressman I just spoke to, and he said, you know, I got to vote my conscience. Right. But he's in the House of Representatives. Can he convince other House members I don't, I don't think there's much of a chance that the House is going to pass this. And you saw a perfect example of this was Joe Wilson, who said that this was to avoid Benghazi and, and the president was trying to hide from all these other issues. You've still got members of the House of Representatives who think uh, the president is, is a secret Muslim and he wasn't born here and this is some massive conspiracy. I don't think there's much of a chance in the House. But again, if you look at it historically, Bill Clinton started dropping bombs right after the Senate passed it, even though the House didn't vote for a month later. And I think that's what the president's going to try and do. Okay, so if the president does that, I mean... I mean, it's going to make a lot of voters mad, really angry. Extremely does, angry. Does the president care at this point? He's not running for re-election, but he could hurt his fellow Democrats. I don't think there's much that can help the Democrats next year uh, outside of the economy anyway. And this is, this is legacy building, okay? This is something that the president thinks has to happen in order for the United States to stay safe, has to happen in order to stabilize the region. And I don't think he's thinking in terms of elections next year. And I don't think, if you look at most of the Senate, uh, senators on the Foreign Relations Committee, they're not really worried about their jobs. The only people who are really worried are like the presidential candidates like Rand Paul and Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio. Everybody else knows it'll be the economy next year. They'll be fine. Jason Johnson, thanks for your insights. Thank Always you. appreciate it.